We have the artist Asan here. We are in Laguna Gel and his art studio. It's a phenomenal story about peace. Oh, thank you. All the pieces that he has created, 2,000 pieces. We're going to show you a little bit about this. This is live stream Saturday night. We had a beautiful concert here. And uh, welcome, everybody, to this amazing artist that we're going to hear about. Thank you. And uh, I think the story goes with your friend Richard here. He said, uh, 1954, uh, <laughs> uh, if you picked up a Picasso piece, right, yeah. for 15000 it sold for $148 million. Well, <laughs> you know, I'm, I don't even want to get involved in any of that. I'm here to share a message that needs to be heard more than ever. And that is, uh, uh, imagine that we live in a time that global peace is part of our reality. Isn't that too yes. much to ask? No, absolutely not. Absolutely and not. that's what this art is about. 2,000 paintings, 20 years in the making. When you put them together, it turns to unity and peace. Okay. And then speaking of the 2,000 pieces right here, you've, you've, you've fashioned them together in this display so it creates this image of a dog, right? These are all your pieces here, correct? Yes. From one is down here, all the way to 2,000 down there. This is a mini miniature. Yes. All the 2,000 pages. Correct. That's a one original size. When you put all these 2,000, it turns to 17 story tall building or a seven acre land. If you lay them on the ground. Seven ground. acres. Seven acres. Yeah. Wow. I don't know if you saw this. Phenomenal. Look. That is so good. And then talk about the, the, the flags of each country, right? And look, yes. With all of these abstract faces, 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 all of these country flags become exactly one unit, you will see peace. Right. And that's the message. And you have the beautiful heart that's here. That's the heart of the dove. Yeah. That is the original one. Yes. Uh, okay. And, uh, this is your story right here. Amazing. Right. When you were 10 years old? I was, uh, I saw war when I was a kid. And uh, I've been working on it for 21 years now. Wow. You have to come by here, Laguna Niguel. What's the address here? Uh, the best place is going to Asan.art. E H S A N. Right here. Dot art instead of dot com. All the information is in there. Okay. <laughs> is it Laguna Niguel? 28062. Um, fourth row, Laguna Niguel. You got to okay. make an appointment. Before Absolutely. Okay. And we have some fans over here. And uh, one of the art collectors, Richard Hart, down here. I was going to this art. I encourage you that you uh, start collecting. It's 1954, guys. And you walked into Picasso's studio and you're meeting Picasso 2.0. I'm actually doing this type of comparison. But Picasso pieces started selling on auction at, um, at all these auction houses at Christie's and Sotheby's and privately being traded. Art never loses value. It only holds the value and it increases. So Esan has created the world Guinness Book quality world record, the eighth wonder of the world. All you have to do is take a look at it. It's the most amazing thing. And he's, he, he's done it twice. This is a double-sided art. There's mosaic. 2,000 mosaics creates the back, which is the solar system. Uh, the sun, the earth, infinite love, all our planetary system. I'm going to sell Mars to Elon Musk. I'm also going to sell the moon to some space agency that wants it, that their unity and peace mindset. Could be an answer that will own it. And then, of course, earth-loving people, deep pocket investors will buy the originals. There's originals, there's NFTs, there's uh, prints. All of that is available. By the way, this is an actual painting, actual size, and it's double-sided. Every piece has a map. And right here, this map identifies exactly where this tile belongs. Right here. Yeah. Every every piece that has this particular meticulously tells you. So if you own the eye, it will tell you where the eye is. If, if you own, let's say, one of the flags, or one of the country flags, it will tell you exactly where it's at. So there's a lot of thoughts behind it. He's actually Picasso 2.0. He's actually better than Picasso, I believe, although some people are very prejudiced about Picasso. But I made an analogy 
And I said, if you were 1954 entering Picasso's life and you were at his studio and you look at his creation, you say, I want one piece. Well, guess what? The people that did that at them prices, 15,000, 20,000, Your father. 10, no, I use that as an example. I, I said, imagine my father yes. walked into Picasso's studio yep. and said, hmm, how much is this? He says, $15,000. Well, at that time, 15,000 was a hundred grand, right? Compared to today's money. And he says, okay, I'll buy it. But those pieces started selling at auctions, including the one that sold at MGM Grand for $140 million just two years ago. So this is what's happening here. Art is an investment. And what do wealthy people do? They buy art. After they buy land, they buy stocks, they buy good businesses, they invest in this or that. The last thing that they do, the seventh thing that they do in preserving their wealth is they buy art because art is asset. It's a, a holding the value so your money can lose value, but your art holding yeah. keeps the value. And as a matter of fact, it goes up. Yeah. That's typically what a good artist is. Don't miss this artist. Don't miss that son. He's uh, a brand. He's a movement. He's the unity and peace. Awesome. Awesome. So, I, <laughs> so, so our goal is to reconnect tomorrow morning. Okay. Probably uh, 11.30.